think we're ready to, let me just check my notes. All right. Good evening, everyone. Solid. It is 6.06, .06, and I'd like to call to order the open session for the August 26, 2021 HBCSD Board of Education meeting, uh, uh, special meeting. Uh, it is hybrid. We are in person as well as available digitally. Um, just want to make sure at the back everyone can hear me okay. We're good. All right. Um, Christine, could you please take the roll call? Board Member Cole. Present. Board Member Gardner. Present. Board Member Kluth. Present. Vice President Clerk Bovey LaMonica is absent tonight. President McCall. Present. We have a quorum. Thank you, Christine. All right, we'll move on to tonight's agenda. Do I have a motion to approve tonight's agenda? Thank you, Quentin. Uh, do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Jen. Um, all in favor, Christine? Board Member Cole? Aye. Board Member Gardner? Aye. Board Member Kluth? Aye. President McCall? Aye. All in favor? Thank you. Moving on to public comments and communication. Um, seeing no one in chambers, um, Christine, would you be able to let us know if there's anyone on Zoom? We do not have anybody waiting on Zoom in the waiting room, Stephen. Okay, fantastic. Well, thank you for that. Uh, seeing none, um, I will po close public comment and move on. So our first item, which is superintendent reports and board discussion, uh, item R10-21-22, regular board meeting start time for 2021-2022. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, per our last meeting, we had discussion about uh, the start time of board meetings. Um, from that discussion, uh, we recognized that it seemed that board direction was split uh, between um, uh, two to two uh, as far as uh, the start time between uh, having the start time remain the same, which is currently a five o'clock closed session, six o'clock open session, um, or making the meeting later. Um, and I don't want to speak for the board, but part of that discussion was that at the very least a six o'clock closed session start time and a seven o'clock uh, open session start time. Uh, was one of the options discussed. Um, and so it, it was agreed upon that on the premise of starting it uh, earlier, sorry, starting it at the same time or starting it later, uh, the board direction did come down to need a quorum to do so. Um, and it would be helpful uh, for tonight's discussion um, for you to share your thoughts about uh, the direction we would like to see the board, go, board meeting start times go. Um, I will also share uh, uh, in regard to accessibility uh, for the meetings that we do plan to uh, move our Facebook live broadcast to the YouTube channel instead. So we currently have a um, YouTube channel as well as a Facebook page. And uh, after evaluating with our IT department, uh, we, we believe we found that the YouTube channel just provides just a better option for the purpose of broadcasting um, and that Facebook is a better option for the purpose of communicating out with post. Um, so for our September session, uh, our um, 
uh, internet broadcast will of course be available on Granicus uh, through the city website. But instead of Facebook Live, it'll now be available on the YouTube channel. And then we can better archive our videos on a playlist as well too, so they're more easily accessible. Um, so I wanted to share that just because we are talking about start times and accessibility. Well, thank you. Thank you, Jason. Um, actually, just as a, I guess, a point of clarification on that, just you can thank you for the updates uh, with things. It says live on YouTube in front of us. Are we broadcasting to both Facebook and YouTube right now, or is it just uh, to the YouTube channel? Taylor, can I get clarification? Are we broadcasting on Facebook Live as well? Currently, we are only broadcasting on YouTube. Oh, um, uh, that's we should be broadcasting on Facebook Live. Can we close our YouTube broadcast? The two, two, at least sort of discussion wise, anyway. Um, I think that I lean more towards the starting at 6 p.m. Um, it's uh, purposes of we have one meeting a month and for, you know, we look to be as efficient as we can be, but we look to try and do that all in one session. And there's usually long meetings. Uh, right now, obviously, we're doing a lot of special sessions. Um, that said, you know, I think it's, it's worthwhile sort of having further consideration around sort of, you know, the broader lay of the lands and there's a lot of other considerations. Um, we, there was discussion around other boards, um, not the, the other cities, but it's interesting to see, you know, El Segundo is also at six o'clock, Manhattan Beach, I believe five o'clock, Redondo Beach a bit earlier, PV actually starts at 6.30, they, uh, their closed session is at 5 p.m. Um, I believe, you know, uh, speaking to them, that allows a little bit of time for not only starting a closed session, but also having time in between for board members to probably have a chance to eat. And I think that that's sort of just a consideration given the new world order we're in right now and, and sort of the ability to eat safely, um, you know, without masks on and whatever else uh, in, you know, uh, either in between or, or prior to open sessions, which can last a long time. Torrance is at 7 p.m. So, it's, it, you know, there's also precedence of others. And historically, we started at 7 p.m. So, I, I, you know, it was really great having hearing the discussion about uh, public access and participation. Um, I, th that's absolutely a factor. I think that because we have this now broadcast uh, digitally and access for comments digitally, um, that I, I think that that helps. We, we have a lot of, I think, anecdotally, at least I feel as though we have a lot of parents who, uh, but, you know, everyone's got a lot of commitments. And um, that can be dual working parents and parents working till five, six, seven o'clock. So um, an earlier start time than that, I think, is, is sort of not needed than 6 p.m. But I'm also mindful of, of our board and our board all has working commitments as well. And so I think that that was one piece of discussion that I think that the board, you know, if, if it's a case of it is possible and doable for once, you know, once or twice, possibly three times a month to make earlier session times. But if it's not feasible or not practical for certain board members, um, then, then that's a consideration. I, I, you know, we have to make this, a, a, it's a board meeting for the board. And, you know, I wanna make sure that all board members are able to balance their sort of um, commitments to their work and, and livelihood as well as being here. This is after all a, at least the Hermosa board, we're, we're all volunteers. So this is this is not a this is in no way do we take any payment for this, and I, I want to sort of take a moment to publicly acknowledge that therefore we are juggling. Um, well, we make a full time commitment to sort of honour the commitments to the board, but you know if someone's coming from work and they're coming from across town, we all know that traffic across LA, even traffic across the Mosa Beach, and finding parking outside can sometimes be a tricky thing. Um, there was good discussion around efficient meetings. You know, can we make them more efficient? Um, uh, you know, sure. I, I, it's, uh, Maggie's done a ruthlessly brilliant job in the last couple of meetings, and I'm certainly going to try and sort of beat her time to this evening to not be uh, too tardy. Um, 
But, I, you know, I, I, sometimes we've just got a lot of stuff to get through. Um, and I think also it's finding that balance of um, there was good discussion about staff. Um, you know, if we're here till 10, 11, 12, we have done very late times in the past and it can, these meetings can run long. Then for our administration and staff, that's, that's onerous. And, and also we're trying to make good judgment calls. And I don't think sometimes, you know, late into the night, um, that is hard when we're grappling with, with quite a lot of information and needing to evaluate things. I think that there is a certain, I guess this might be up for dis further discussion is, you know, at what point are we also balancing families making an ability to get down here? We I sort of mentioned about working parents, but quite often we have students come into the session and we have student updates from our council. Um, you know, for family members to get down here, you know, is this pre-dinner, post-dinner, before kids going to bed, whatever else. So I think that, you know, th th that's a viable thing. I think that our city makes a commitment to start their meetings at 6 p.m. Um, I like personally that then anyone in Hermosa knows that city meetings, school board meetings, while there's a separation of the two, um, I like that they start at the same time. I think that's just sort of, a, it, it makes it easier and things aren't moving around. Um, which is partly why I lean towards uh, the 6 p.m. and keeping it as is. Um, what else did I have to mention? You know, um, there was discussion, I believe, also about sort of involving public and open items. And I think we do a great job of, of, of publicly now all the you know, documentation in advance. Anyone wants to come and make comments at the beginning, I think that having the open time at the beginning for sessions uh, is good. So, yeah, I, you know, actually, I, I wanted to specifically ask if, if, if any board members, you know, have other commitments, be that work or whatever else that makes it difficult for them to get here early. You know, I thought that was worth taking into consideration. Um, you know, otherwise, I, you know, I, I think I'm inclined to, to lean towards the uh, current start time of 6 p.m. Um, I'll maybe go down the line and just see if with that sort of general recap and, and any other sort of thoughts that anyone else has had, I'll, I'll happily open it up to uh, the rest of the board here for, for further input. Um, Quentin, on your end, if there's anything further. Uh Nothing to add. Just to clarify, when you say you're leaning towards six, do you mean starting the closed session at six or starting the open session at six? Um, starting the open session at six. So keeping keeping at the current time with closed session at five and open session at six. I mean, we do sometimes we're grappling with a lot of issues and we we struggle to even keep our closed sessions within sort of a forty five minute session time as well, which is interesting. Why it's see, you see. EV starting theirs, you know, at five, but not doing that open session until 6.30. So, um, you know, if it came to it and 30 minutes is going to help people, I'm happy to sort of meet people in, in the middle on this. If, if that's amenable to the board, I, you know, but I, I would rather, I think, start at the current time than, than push to too much later. Okay, thanks. Jen? No, I think you got it. Thanks. Thank you, Jen. Doug, anything further on your end? No, nothing, nothing further. If the uh, quorum of the board believes we should keep the current time, then that's how the board works. That's how it'll work. Okay. But um, good. Okay. Um, did I miss anything, or is there any further consideration from your end, Jason? No. Um, so as I, I, I'm taking direction from the board uh, that we will keep the current start time of closed session at five o'clock and open session at six o'clock. Um, I believe that's good direction based on the, the and if the boards are open to that, do we, obviously we're um, one of those board members is not here. So if you want us to take a motion or if we're just keeping things as is, you're good with that. No necessary, uh, not necessary for motion. It's just it, in this case, it's just board direction and status quo. The the board member who was not here also, I believe, uh, was for keeping the um, uh, start time the same. Okay. Well, thank you, board, for for that input and everyone's thoughts. Um, and and as ever, I appreciate everyone's time and commitment to uh, everything that we do. So thank you.
Moving on to uh, business item B19-21-22, uh, contract for the builder's risk insurance. Um, oh, no, sorry, I'm skipping one. Going back to superintendent item S10-21-22, or consent. Hang on. <laughs> See, I'm all sorry. I've got to get back into the flow. This IRL. In real life, it's sort of... Uh, I know, it is wonderful. It's a bit of a hanger at the end of that page there. <laughs> All right. All right, I got this. Consent. Um, do I have a motion to approve the items on the consent calendar? So moved. I'll second. take Jen, and thank you for the second, Doug. Um, Christine, could you do the honors, please? Board member Cole? Aye. Board member Gardner? Aye. Board member Kluth? Aye. President McCall? Aye. All in favor. Moving on to board action item. Uh, first up is superintendent at, uh, item S10-21-22. Uh, updates to board policies and administrative regulations. Um, it is recommended to the board to adopt um, uh, independent study corresponding board policies and administrative regulations in order to meet the new law AB-130. Uh, requiring school districts um, to provide uh, some form of independent study um, in light of the post-COVID world. Um, and uh, we uh, are working on our independent study program. Uh, currently, right now, the enrollment is very low. Um, so we're looking at options in order to best support those students. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Uh, board, any Queries or comments? Uh, looking down the line, any hands up? I don't have any. Um, so, do I have a motion to approve uh, item S10 21 22 updates to board policies and administrative regulations? Yeah, I just have a clarifying question. Oh. Sorry. Um, yep. Is there, was there, there is a policy to, what's the policy that we're approving? Uh, it is just the associated board policy that is corresponding with the law um, that, oh, that establishes just that, yeah, protocols and uh, to provide independent study or alternative options to support those students that request. Good. And if we only have one or two people that do we, is there exceptions to districts that are exceptionally small that have exceptionally small numbers? The law does provide provisions um, to uh, um, uh, enter into an MOU agreement with another district, oh, provide interdistrict great. transfer for a school district that may have more students in a more robust program. And so is that something that we would consider? That is something that we would consider um, uh, depending on how low the enrollment was in independent study. Okay, great. Thank you, Jen. Um, do I have a motion to approve item S10-21-22, updates to board policies and administrative regulations? So moved. Thank you, Quentin. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Doug. I'll take Doug. Um, Christine. Christine with fear is better. Board member Cole? Aye. Aye. Board member Gardner? Aye. Board member Kluge? Aye. And President McCall? Aye. All in favor? Thank you, Christine. Right, moving on to business item B19, 21, 22, contract for the builder's risk insurance at the Hermosa View. Thank you, President McCall. Um, it's recommended that the board approve the Gallagher insurance policy for the builder's risk insurance for Hermosa View um, project 008. This is um, an extension of the current policy with a different um, broker to cover the existing structures, which would include building C, D, and E, and the MPR, which would give us full replacement value coverage, which is what is required according to our contract with Erickson Hall. Thank you, Paula. Uh, board, any queries? Any comments? Uh, I have a quick comment. I just thank you to the team for hunting this down. I know this was not easy to... Uh, Come up with and thank you to Erickson Hall for being flexible with us uh, as we as we hunted. So thank you, everybody. Great effort. Indeed. Thank you, Doug. All right. Uh, do I have a motion to approve item B19 21 22 contract for builders risk insurance for Hermosa View? So moved. Thank you, Jen. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Doug. 
Uh, Christine, can you do the honors for a roll call, please? Board Member Cole? Aye. Board Member Gardner? Aye. Board Member Kluth? Aye. And President McCall? Aye. All in favor? All right. Not too bad, not too shabby in the end after, you know, getting, dusting off a little bit. Thank you. Um, that is it for this evening's special session, short and sweet for the summer. Um, and our next meeting is our regular meeting on September 8th. Um, do I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? So moved. Thank you, Doug. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Jen. And Christine, if you do. Right. Board member Cole. Aye. Board member Gardner. Aye. Board member Clues. Aye. And President McCall. Aye. All in favor. Thank you very much, everyone. Good evening.